What is going on? Sense of Wrath here, and this is uh, a seven episode video clip section, or whatever you want to call it, of Ruse World War II Units by Nation. This is by a request by some of my subscribers. This is episode one of the United States Units. All right, defensively, starting out defensively, we have the machine gun nest, machine gun bunker, if you will, great against infantry, followed by the anti-tank bunker, self-explanatory, and it, the last defensive unit would be your anti-air bunker, which is great against anti-air units. For your barracks, you have the really light scout jeep, unarmored, but fast, mobile, and is great for going to the woods and scouting. Um, the army GI, which is your basic infantry, and the upgrade to that is the Ranger Infantry. Stronger, faster, and generally better. All right. In your armor base, you have your Greyhound M8 um, Scout Unit, designed by Ford in 1943, followed by the M3 Steward Light Tank, is weak yet fast. Your M24 Chaffee Light Tank is great for hit and runs, designed in 1944. Your M3 Lee Medium Tank, as you're starting out, Medium Tank, has two guns, a 75mm and a 37 the M4 Sherman, which is the primary tank of the United States in World War II, was produced in 1942. The M26 Pershing was the most powerful tank made by the United States in World War II outside of the T95. It never got to see action. In your artillery anti-air base, you have your Bofors AA gun, which had a 40mm AA, originally designed by the Swedes. Moving on to the M16 Mobile AA, which was actually designed on an M20, on an M. Uh, M3 half-track chassis. Your M19 is an upgrade from the M16 designed on a Chaffee, Chaffee light tank chassis. Your Priest is your first, uh, M7 Priest, your first propelled, self-propelled artillery piece with a 105mm gun. And then you upgrade it as the M40, which has a 155mm gun. I didn't really get to see action until 1945 in Europe, only a little bit. On your anti-tank base, you have, to, you have your 57mm gun, M1. Originally designed by the uh, UK as a six pounder. Upgrade to that is a 76 millimeter M5, which was produ produced in 1943. Your Wolverine is your first tank uh, destroyer, followed by the uh, M36 Jackson tank destroyer, which came into action in 1944. On your prototype basis, you have your Calilope T-34 rocket launcher, which was produced in 1943 on top of a Sherman chassis. Your Crocodile flamethrower tank was made uh, from a Sherman chassis, usually mainly used in Japan to clear those bunkers with a flamethrower. The Long Tom artillery gun, 155mm, was actually like the M40. All right, and lastly is your T95 super heavy tank. Never got to see action in World War II, but was on a drawing board, and some were designed for, for it. That thing was a beast. It even had four tracks because it was so heavy. All right. On your airfield, start now at your P-51 Mustang, one of the most famous aircraft of World War II, 650 calibers, followed by the Grasshopper, L-2 Grasshopper Scout Plane, produced in 1941, your P-47 Thunderbolt, heaviest, largest, most expensive fighter actually used during World War II, the B-25 Mitchell, which is uh, mainly used in the Pacific Theater, and then your last aircraft is your B-17 Flying Fortress. Uh, was introduced in 1938 and dropped over 640,000 pounds of tons, sorry, tons of bombs in Germany alone. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. That was the wrap-up for this first episode of the United States. I wish you guys a beautiful day. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw. Have a good day.